big one. Ah, oh, you got one. Eat you some of that right there. Ooh. Hey, Lee Series Pro Dave Mullins. Coming with a Tackle Tip Tuesday, and you know, people give me a lot of questions about crankbaits and whatnot, and structure fishing, but one of the biggest things for me, and, and growing up, we didn't have a lot of fishing rods, so I had pretty much my deep cranking rod was the same rod I used for a rattle trap. And how I got by with that is using snaps, and still to this day, I will use a snap on all my crankbait rods. And this just eliminates me a lot of time from having 15 different crankbait rods on the deck. So if I want to change from my, you know, big square bills, if I want to change and go to a, to a 6XD, let's say in shad color, well, instead of having to tie on three rods, you know, now I went from, you know, having to fish seven, eight foot, now I can fish 20 foot. All right, say we've got a school fired up and all of a sudden they quit eating this, uh, this green gizzard. Well, now let's, okay, let's give them something different. Real quick, let's give them a chartreuse blue. So now, just that fast, you know, I put on a chartreuse blue. So it eliminates me from having a lot of different rods on the deck. And if you don't have a lot of money to spend on 15 different cranker rods, you know, that's one of the best best ways that I know to do it. That's a, that, usually a number two snap is what I use all the time. I don't use a snap swivel. A lot of people get that mixed up. This is not a swivel in front of it. That's just a snap. And it doesn't hurt the action of the bait. It might increase the action of the bait, but you know, I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about something that I can change the bait quick where I don't have to have a lot of rods tied on, and uh, I've never had lost a fish because of that. So check that out. Next time you're cranking, snaps. Good easy way to change out plugs. You don't have to have a lot of rods.